to find the mean, median, mode, and range. First we need to collect data, which you already see. Next we need to put it in numerical order. Now we are going to find the mode. The mode is the number that occurs most often. It is easy to remember how to find the mode because the mo in mode can remind you of most often. So simply look at our data, we can see that the number 7, which has five sevens, or six sevens, occurs the most often. Therefore, our mode is 7. The median is the middle number. You can remember this by thinking about the median in a highway. It's the middle that separates the different sides of the highway. The way to find the median is find the middle number. The best way to do this is put your numbers in numerical order, which we've already done. And when working on it, you can cross them off or flip them over as I'll show you right now. We find 10 to be our median. Sometimes the numbers don't work out evenly when finding the median, like this one. We have two middle numbers. So we have to go about it by finding the average of these numbers. So we have to add 3 plus 4 and divide it by 2. So we have 7 divided by 2, which equals 3.5. Next, we're going to learn about the mean. The mean is the average. You can remember this because this requires the most work. Therefore, it can be considered mean. Grr. To find the mean, you add up all of your numbers. So our total is 403. Then you divide by how many numbers there are. And we have 33 numbers here. So you divide by 33. Your answer is 12.21. So your mean is 12 points. Now we are going to find the range. The range is probably the easiest one to find. First you take the largest number, which you can see is 32, and you subtract the smallest number, which is 1. So our range is 30. The mean, median, mode, and range are all measures of central tendency, and they can all be used to help describe a set of data.